Hi, welcome to How to Repair. After having so many requests for a tour of the workshop, I decided to get my cleaning gloves on on the weekend and really blitz the place because I'd been meaning to do this video for a long, long time, never had the workshop clean or organized enough to make a video for you. And also I have now a 360 camera. Now, for those of you that don't know what 360 cameras are, basically you are able to watch this on your phone or on the computer and have a complete tour around the workshop at your leisure. If you're using a mobile device, you only need to pan with your finger or it's got a built-in gyro into it and it will tilt and look around the workshop. So you can follow me around the workshop as I take you around on this tour. Right, let's start with the workbench. The workbench I constructed out of pallet racking, uh, basically reinforced it so it didn't shake about and bolted it all down to the floor. This accommodates four washing machines or tumble dryers, cookers, etc. And I've especially wired it up so that each individual appliance can have a problem, trip the electricity board, but it doesn't interfere with the other appliances. They also have their own individual meters on each appliance and I'm able to see when heaters are cutting in, when a motor's turning, like we're drawing 95 watts at the moment while this motor is turning. I'm able to see tumble dryer heater systems kick in, fan oven element heaters kick in and so on. We're really, really trying to be environmental friendly at How to Repair. Not only are we now completely off-grid, and when I say off-grid, I've fitted over 12 kilowatt of panels out in the garden, which is in another video. And this supplies a battery bank that I have, which is 50 kilowatt. And my display here is basically coming from the inverter in another room. And as you can see, the sun is not doing very well today because it's whales as usual, and we only have 3.6 kilowatt being produced. But because of very high electricity bills, and when I say very high, I was getting electricity bills in excess of 1,500 pound a quarter. And this is because of a lighting that's needed to film appliance repairs for you. So at the moment, I've got a load of 1,400 watts just from the lighting and that washing machine turning. Well, when you consider I work eight to 10 hours a day uh, with all this lighting on, that's a lot of electricity. And at the high rates that we've had over the last couple of years, I had to do something about it. And the more money I save means the more equipment I can buy to make better videos for you in repairing appliances. We are really starting to care about the consumer with regards to the cost of appliance repairs now. We sell many, many new parts, but sometimes a washing machine is unaffordable to repair because the circuit board is gone, or like this Miele washing machine. This would have cost about a thousand pound to buy, and it's in perfect condition, but the bearings are gone in the machine. Now, even for me as a tradesman, this is uneconomical to repair because it needs a whole spider unit and drum and even if I replace that people will not pay more than 100, 150 pounds for a second hand washing machine. Uh, so it's unaffordable to repair. Now rather than just taking this to the scrap, I'm now stripping the machines down for the good components and I'm going to be putting them onto the website. Example being the motor for this washing machine is over 350 pounds. Uh, I'll be able to strip this motor off, test it with my motor testing equipment, and know that the motor is in perfect condition, and then sell it on either our website, eBay, whatever, and someone will appreciate that motor for 50, 60 pounds. Also, things are not getting easy for me as I get older with regards lifting machines. So I fitted a travel hoist that you can see, and this lifts the drum out of a washing machine and makes life so much easier for me. As I said, I'm no spring chicken anymore and lifting some of these machines are hard work. So let's go around the workshop. We've got many lighting rigs in here to make good quality videos for you. 
Uh, I've also got some tracking cameras that I bring up here occasionally, for, like this camera, for you to be able not only to have a good video, for it to be a bit more entertaining because you're able to follow me around the workshop and so on. We have some monitors uh, here and one above the camera here. Uh, these are for when I'm doing a live stream or a live show answering questions on domestic appliance repairs or maybe interviewing someone in the trade. I've done a few streams in the past and as the internet gets better in this Welsh area because the internet speeds have been very slow and I'm now using Starlink but I'm still not able to get the quality of stream that I want because of the latency when uploading. I created a little desk for myself and I illuminated this with half washing machine drums because it's used in the props of the actual uh, show and everything else. I made many, many other videos on domestic appliance, uh, repurposing washing machine drums and other components out of washing machines like wind turbines out of washing machine motors. I use washing machine drums to hold the logs. I've made coffee tables, barbecues, line holders. The videos are all on the website for you to see. Also, I decided to build myself um, a lighting box, which is slightly different. I wanted customers to be able to understand what they're buying. In other words, sometimes you might not be sure that an item fits and a couple of photographs aren't really doing it for you. So this is actually a rotational basis and I'm able to do a 360 rotation of the motor, for example, and video it so you actually understand that it's the correct motor for your machine. I've also got a couple of whiteboards which I drop down when I'm doing a live show. Uh, next door is where I keep all my second-hand parts, uh, basically for my own consumption. But as I said, we will be putting them on the website because some things like circuit boards and motors are just not economic to go out and buy new. Uh, circuit board for this Beko will be over £140. And when you consider the cost of the machine new was only 200 and something pound, the consumer will always say, uh, let's go and buy a new one. But if you've got a second-hand board available for this machine at £50, then it's worth repairing. And it's really, really an important thing that we need to start doing more of. The Right to Repair Act now, which is coming into legislation, is there to stop manufacturers building into this built-in obsolescence which they're doing. It's one of my pet hates in life. I'm having to do more and more complex videos uh, with regards circuit board repairs, rebuilding washing machine motors, etc, etc, because the consumer is not always able to go and buy a new machine every four or five years. Do you realise now that Britain alone imports over three and a half million washing machines a year? Now, where I get this figure from is we have 28 million households in Britain. The average lifespan of a washing machine now, realistically, is five to six years. This means Britain alone, just Britain, is consuming three million washing machines a year, roughly. And 95% of these machines are being imported from the Far East, Italy, Turkey, and so on. The transportation costs alone and the non environmental friendly transportation to bring them to Britain is just so unenvironmental friendly it's incredible. Um, what else can I tell you about the workshop? We have a sink at the back and of course I've got my trusted fridge for all the generous beer donations you keep buying. Um, really do really is appreciated and it really does go towards not just the beer of course it goes to helping buying other equipment to make better videos for you so feel free to watch this video again and you can pan around oh one last thing before everyone says i'm non-environmental friendly yes i have a wood burner and the reason being in wales it gets blooming cold in the winter and i just do not produce enough electricity in the winter, even with 12 kilowatts of solar panel, to be able to heat this unit. So there are some things which I haven't yet 
been able to look at properly. I'm not sure about heat pump technology yet, uh, but I might put more solar panels in for the winter to accommodate it at a later stage when I get the money. Um, and that's basically the whole tour of the workshop. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much indeed for watching. And there's many more videos at the website to assist you in all your appliance repairs. Thanks again for watching.